yes, definitely. I must say that it's something that I've loved from ever since I'm um, growing up, you know, introduced it with um, my uncles. Uh, I think, you know, I went to wrong scoring for them and I fell in love with the game. So I guess it, you know, it was something that I really wanted to do and I'm actually doing it now. Um, I was in trials for the national team and uh, the thing about it, you, you need to be an all-rounder in playing cricket and I went in as a batter and uh, my club coach which is Winston Trumpet he decided to say well you know Marissa you have to go in and do something else so I decided to pick up the gloves and do wicked keeping and I guess you know I kept up with it and you know I kept training hard and I'm actually good at it now. Um, whenever I'm not behind the stop, I feel like if I'm out of the game, so it's actually one of the best position. You see everything, you, you communicate more with all the players around you because um, I, I think it's, it's really a good area and um, it's a pressuring at times, but I guess, you know, as an individual, once you know your, your communication with other people and you take your minds off of the pressure at times and, you know, I try to communicate as much as I can with the girls so to kind of get my mind off of the pressure. So, I mean, after all, yes, it's a pro um, really pressuring position, but, you know, it's, it's good. Words can express how I feel about that. Um, uh, uh, I'll go out there and represent the, the, the people of the Caribbean and it's something that I've always think about, you know, always thought about doing because in lines of, you know, doing that you have so much people on your shoulder looking to see you all do the best and I think it's something really um, enthusiastic in, in, my, in my point because, uh, you know, you go out there and you represent the people and, and they feel so good about what you do. And I think, you know, basically once you know within yourself that you love what you're doing and you are, you are pleasing so much around you, I, I think it's a, it's a really good thing. Well, to be honest, it all started at home. Um, I think, you know, even uh, I'm one of the, the second to last. Uh, and I have um, four sisters, which is older than I am. Uh, I think they always come to me for advice, and it's something that I, I've really, um, uh, well, I've developed from a young age. Uh, I think it's a God-given talent. And, you know, I'm eventually going into the, the cricketing arena and seeing that I, I'm so around so much people, and they are really interested in, in knowing what I can give. And, uh, you know, it's pleasing to me, but after all, I, I must say it's a God-given talent, and I have all the, the idea of using it and, and doing it to the best of my ability. You said you to be honest, after going through with my, with my uncles, um, they selected me in the secondary school to captain the team and I really thought about captaining, yes, captaining the cricket team, but you know, I have so much, in, I, I was so much in love with other sports, uh, even track and field, something that I really loved. And eventually, yes, I decided to go into the cricket and uh, I find it, you know, overwhelming in lines of, you know, doing what I, um, I'm doing in the sense of, you know, representing everybody who is around me and so on. And I guess, you know, it's something, it's something great and I'm enjoying it. And I must say that um, we have developed rapidly. Um, I think I must give credit to the board because they are really putting a lot of things in place for us. And even this camp, uh, I think we are hitting all areas and aspects in, in, in our game and not just our game, you know, in our mental side, uh, even nutrition, things that could really help us to be professional cricketers. And, you know, it's, it's something that uh, we know to ourselves that we can reach to the uh, next level because, I mean, yes, we are developing, but there's so much to, to be learned in order to be the best. And, you know, once we continue doing what we are doing, I think, you know, eventually we'll get there. Okay. Well, yes, I, I was a bit disappointed knowing that we didn't reach the final. I mean, it's so close, but yeah, so far. But I guess, you know, there's so much to be, so much to learn from that. Um, in lines of, yes, topping our group, you know, beating New Zealand first time in, in T20. And uh, I think that was a plus for us because we knew we had to do that. It's, it's long overdue and um, we went out there, we did our best. Uh, we, we fought well, we, we fought as a team, which is most important. We gelled together. It had so many times that, you know, yes, we felt a little down after losing to Sri Lanka and, you know, everybody just pumped. And, and was really to raring to go for the next uh, match against South Africa. So I guess, you know, the, the relationship between the players, it's really good, it's at a high standard. And, you know, once we continue doing what we are doing and, and helping each other, motivating each other, I think, you know, we, we will reach that next level. I think, you know, after seeing the, the, 
all the celebration from the guys, uh, I think that really pumped us up and, and really looking forward to that victory. Uh, right now, that's one of the main goals uh, the girls uh, you know, we are really hoping to have. And I guess, you know, once we continue what we are doing, continue striving for, for, for betterment in lines of in you know, all areas of our game and, uh, and really take in consideration that things that we need to work on and, and, and being specific in the areas, uh, um, we will really be looking forward into to achieving that goal. So I guess, you know, it's something not just for us, but for the people of the Caribbean as well. Um, in lines of um, interacting, I always had that problem. I never really liked. I always a self-centered person, and I have grown to to know so many people and, and understand so different different cultures. And you know, as an individual, you a young individual, you know, you you really want to know and understand things that is happening around you. And cricket have shown me so much. You know, I, I've worked so hard for 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 what I believe in. Um, I was really dedicated, uh, and most of all, discipline. You know, you you, you have to be disciplined. In all areas so I guess you know you just need to you know go out there and, and continue you know supporting the women West Indies women's cricket team you know we are out there and, and really working hard into making the Caribbean proud and uh, all I can say again to the young ladies who is interested in cricket you know just go out there and work hard and you will achieve everything and, um well um, was looking at to retire at the age 26, but um, I guess um, time will tell. <laughs>